जी बिस्मिल्लाहमानी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू एस्टिमेट दिस स्टील फ्रॉम स्लैब एंड वी आर गोइंग टू डू दैट फॉर द पॉजिटिव एंड नेगेटिव स्टील एंड इन दिस शीट आई एम गोइंग टू कॉपी द डाटा फ्रॉम द प्रीवियस शीट बिकॉज दिस इज द स्टील कैलकुलेशन ऑफ आर सी सी बीम्स विच वॉज माई प्रीवियस टूटोरियल एंड फ्रॉम दैट आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू कॉपी दिस एंड आई एम नाउ गोइंग टू पेस्ट इन दिस न्यू फाइल हेयर यू कैन सी दिस इज अ स्लैब and in this slab the dimensions are 14 feet 9 inches horizontally and 13 feet 6 inches vertically to aap keh sakte hain 14 foot 9 inch ye is tarah hai aur 13 foot 6 inch upar se niche hai the amount of steel which it is shown in the picture is number 4 at 8 inches center to center which means that number 4 is half inches and these are going to be placed at 8 inches center to center from this to this so let's see how to calculate that i am going to make a spreadsheet for that this is the positive steel ye positive steel hai slab ke andar aur ye number 4 hai aadhi inch aur 8 inch center to center ke upar place kiya gaya hai is edge se leke is edge tak so agar hamare paas ek kamra ho humne jo slab place karni hai that is going to be from this edge to this edge to slab iske upar aati hai to isliye aapko inner dimensions ki bajaye total dimensions leni hai so 9 inches from this side and 9 inches from this side needs to be added so first of all let me give a heading स्टील कैलकुलेशन स्लैब स्टील कैलकुलेशन आर सी सी स्लैब स्टील एस्टिमेशन आई एम गोइंग टू बोल्ड दैट आई एम गोइंग टू इंक्रीज इट साइज सो दैट इट इज क्लियरली विजिबल एंड नाउ गोइंग टू अप्लाई सम बॉर्डर हेयर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई एम गोइंग टू ए इनपुट वैल्यूज फ्रॉम द यूजर एंटर द स्लैब dimensions now it depends on you whether you want the inner dimensions to be entered by the client or by the person or the outer dimension so most probably people know the inner dimensions so you can input the inner dimensions enter the inner slab dimensions so let's say you have asked the person to enter the inner slab dimensions and i'm going to make this a yellow cell you know that the yellow cell are the inner uh, the input values and let's say i'm going to make this cell as this by this so this will be the length one cell will be the length and one cell will be the width let's say for the user i'm going to write here length and width this is just for the is so the outer to outer total dimensions becomes the total slab dimensions is equal to this plus 9 inches from this side and 9 inches from this side let me add 9 again plus 9 so uh, actually this is going to be in feet so the dimension here which we are going to add will be 9 by 12 because we have to convert that into feet or you can say you can just add 0.75 which is equal to 9 inches 0.75 is will be in फिट आई एम गोइंग टू डू दिस फॉर योर ईज ताकि आपको साथ साथ पता चल सके कि हम क्या करें नाइन बाई ट्वेल्व प्लस नाइन बाई ट्वेल्व इट इज़ वन पॉइंट फाइव फीट बिकॉज नाइन इंचज प्लस नाइन इंचज आर एटीन इंचज एंड दैट इज इक्वल टू वन फिट सिक्स इंचज एंड वन पॉइंट फाइव फीट इज इक्वल टू एटीन इंचज सो दैट्स वाई लेट्स से वी हैव एंटर हेयर टेन फिट एंड यू कैन हैव the answer at 11.5 feet so i'm going to center line these two width is let's say we enter these dimension 12.14.75 oh here i have to enter 14.75 and you can see the total dimensions calculated easily 13.5 and i'm going to drag this formula here delete this you can see 1.5 inches added here एंड दिस इज़ दी डायमेंशन आप जो भी यहाँ पर वैल्यू चेंज करेंगे दस तो वो खुद बहुत 
एड करता जाएगा इसके अंदर सो द टोटल स्लैब डायमेंशन हैव बिकम दिस नाउ द एरिया ऑफ दिस स्लैब बिकम्स आर वी इंटरेस्टेड इन कैलकुलेशन द एरिया ऑफ दिस स्लैब लेट बी थिंक देखते हैं अगर हमें भी जरूरत पड़ती है या नहीं लेट सेंटर द स्टील साइज एंटर द स्टील डायमीटर इन एक्स डायरेक्शन so here i copied this thing the size of the bars i am going to convert that in meters so coming back to this steel estimation sheet let's say i enter here control v and you can see it is automatically copied the in number 4.5 inches and this is in meters that is fine enter the steel diameter in x direction enter the spacing in x direction enter the steel spacing spacing in x direction is equal to what is the spacing here which we have 8 inches so do we have our spacing conversion here in this sheet enter the spacing of strips yes we do have so i'm going to copy this again i'm going to paste here okay for those who don't know what we are doing here this is just a conversion factor we are just multiplying this with 0.0254 to convert the inches into meters because i have done this in my previous tutorial uh, which was the steel calculation from the rcc beam so you can go through that agar koi masla hai aapko to aap wo dekh sakte hain anyways let's now enter the other two dimensions i'm going to copy that i'm going to paste that Going to change that to y direction. Going to change that to again y direction. Number four at this is nine inches now in y direction. So this this becomes this. Now we have to calculate the number of bars in this direction and number of bars in this direction. For that I have to calculate apply a formula. number of bars in x direction is equal to this is the x direction and the bars are going to be placed from this edge to this edge now it depends which side we are going to take x since we are following the global coordinate system to x direction ye hai y direction ye hai aapke paas to x direction ke andar jo steel hai that is going to be placed from this edge to this edge so let us calculate the number of bars now the number of bars placed will be equal to 1 greater than the number of spaces that you know from the previous tutorial and if we have to calculate the first the total length which is equal to this i have to multiply that with 12 to convert that in inches 175 inches now i am going to divide this with the spacing spacing is equal to 9 inches which is 0.0086 but to do that we need to convert this feet into meters first so if we are not converting we can directly use this fine what is it saying okay this was a mistake ye 19.66 bars are here hamare paas so we are going to round it off to the upper direction which means that 20 bars are going to be placed here but we have not subtracted the clear cover on both sides so we have to subtract the clear cover first This is multiplied by 12, and after that we have to subtract 1.5 inches from each side minus 1.5 minus 1.5. It becomes 19.3 bars. So again we have to provide 20 bars. We have to round it off to the upper side. 
we can also apply a rounding up formula here round up this whole of the formula comma zero enter so it is already making it to 20 bars now what we have done whatever value this cell is going to give us this cell will give value this round up ka formula uh, round करके upside के ऊपर हमें next value दे देगा जैसे 19.33 थी अगर हम उसको round करते हैं तो वो lower side के ऊपर round होगा लेकिन जब हम उसको round up करते हैं तो वो upper side के ऊपर round होगा so if you are going to use round up this is the number first one ये सारे की सारी value आपकी number के अंदर आ जाती है consider हो जाती है and number of digits is going to tell you कि आपने कितने number of digits के ऊपर उसको round up करना I am using zero number of digits so after 20 we are, I am getting nothing 20 point nothing so just zero one two three kuch nahi hai mere paas sirf 20 hai so i am going with zero decimal places so number of bars in x direction i am going to get here is 20 i am going to apply the same formula for the y direction here but remember now this is the number of spaces now this is the number of spaces number of bars are always one greater than the number of spaces so after this whole formula we have to add plus one here Now in this, I am going to use this width and the spacing will be this one, 8 inches. These are also 21. That is strange. Maybe the dimensions are something like this. Okay, dono side pe aapki same bars are in. Let's check. Round up J20 into 12 minus 15 into 15, 13.5 into 12 minus 1.5 minus 1.5 divided by 8 inches let's see what answer we get here 20 round up karne ke without dekhte hain kya answer aata hai hamare paas usme 19.33 aa raha tha isme check karte hain kya aata hai so it is different but luckily we are going to get same bars i'm going to press undo here maine undo press kiya so in y and in x, in x direction, both directions we have this number of steel bars as 21. Now you might have seen that the last space you have, it is going to be less. So you have to back calculate the, the, the spacing and you have to reduce the spacing. You have that 19.33 you have. So that was, uh, you can say, not uniformly distributed steel bars. So it, that uh, 0.33 should have been distributed among uh, whole of these uh, steel bars and because you cannot increase the spacing size so that is why you have to provide one more bar which is now making it 21 now you have to increase uh, you have to adjust the spacing size accordingly you have to reduce the spaces in between the bars to place them in uh, uniformly कहने का मतलब यह कि जब आपके पास 19.33 आया था और नंबर ऑफ स्पेसेस आए थे तो 19.33 का मतलब यह है कि 19 स्पेसेस आपके यूनिफॉर्म होंगे और फिर जब जगह बच जाएगी वो 0.33 होगी तो वो एक राउंड ऑफ फिगर नहीं आता आपके पास इक्वल स्पेसिंग नहीं आती तो जब आप नंबर ऑफ बार्स प्लेस करेंगे तो एक बार जो है वो आपकी स्लैब के कोने से करीब आ जाएगी ज्यादा यूनिफॉर्मली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड नहीं होगी तो उसको आपने क्या करना है आपने बैक कैलकुलेट करना है नंबर ऑफ बार्स जब आपने इंक्रीज कर दिए 20 की बजाय 21 कर दिए तो अब आपकी जो स्पेसिंग है इन बिटवीन बार्स वो कम हो जाएगी सो यू हैव टू बैक कैलकुलेट दैट जो कि मैं इसमें नहीं कर रहा यू कैन डू द बैक कैलकुलेशन व्हेन यू आर गोइंग टू प्लेस द स्टील एट साइट आप साइट पे प्लेस कर सकते हैं सिंस आई एम गोइंग टू जस्ट एस्टीमेट द वेट मुझे सिर्फ एस्टीमेट चाहिए कि कितनी बार्स आ रही हैं सो द नंबर ऑफ बार्स आर गोइंग टू रिमेन सेम Either we change the position or not, so 21 bars are going to remain same. So I think we have not taken the uh, density of steel as an input. So let's take the density of steel as an input. Enter the density of steel is equal to. So 
so uh, since we are using this inch pound system or FPS system so let us use the density of steel as 490 pounds per cubic foot LB per CFT now the input data is complete here now we are going to start the solution okay gee, now the input data is complete and now we are going to solve this and in order to solve that I'm going to write here solution and in solution I'm going to bold that and I'm going to increase that a little bit and here in the solution I'm going to choose uh, use the previous uh, uh, data not the data the calculation the previous calculation of uh, steel in the from the RCC slab you can see that from the previous tutorial I'm going to explain that here as well I'm going to paste that not going to paste here going to paste here now it is density is equal to mass per unit volume this is a very you can say universal formula you know that and we're going to change the units first of all from meters to inch and here as well to inch since we are going to use in FPS system going to solve the question here in FPS system because the last question I solved was in SI systems so this is the other so that you can see how to solve the two methods you are, so you are able to calculate from the both methods so here now the area of top bars will be equal to pi r square d by 2 is equal to the radius pi r square where is the radius L26 this is not the radius the radius is this of a bars in x direction and this is the number of parts yes this might be the number of parts fine this is not the top bars area of let's say bars in x direction I'm going to copy paste that area of bars in y direction now I'm going to copy paste that both of them no that's not correct I have to write here volume of bars in the x direction so fine copy paste and replace area with volume now I'm going to copy paste these two cells now I'm going to just replace x with y mass of bars in x direction and mass of bars in the y direction so copy paste copy paste I'm going to write here I wonder who invented copy paste mass of bars in x direction mass of bars in y direction very useful copy paste so volume of bars in x direction this area should be multiplied with the length the length is in feet we have to convert that in inches multiply by 12 8, 0, 4. too much okay now the area of bars in y direction the pi r square l28 not the radius this is the radius fine now h27 is the number of bars in the y direction this one again i'm going to reduce the number of decimal places volume of bars is equal to area multiplied by the length and into 12 to convert that in inches since we have the units inch cube now the mass of bars in x direction will be equal to the volume of bars in x direction multiplied by the density of the steel in now the density of the steel is in cubic feet uh, the pounds per cubic feet and the uh, mass uh, the volume we have in inch cube so we are to convert first inch cube into fit cube so divided by 12 into 12 into 12 is going to give us the answer in CFT let's counter check that we have to convert inch cube to fit cube the factor is this one it looks correct this multiply by paste yes it is correct fine have to do the same with this going to drag that 
इसको ड्रैग कर रहा हूँ सी एफ टी को भी पेस्ट कर रहा हूँ यहाँ पे नाउ मैस वी आर गोइंग टू यूज दिस वन एंड मल्टीप्लाई विद द डेंसिटी ऑफ द स्टील इन पाउंड पर भी फिट नाउ वी गेट टू ट्वेंटी एट पाउंडस वी यूज टू डेसिमल प्लेसेस नंबर ऑफ बार्स इन द वाई डायरेक्शन आर गोइंग टू बी दिस सी एफ टी मल्टीप्लाई टाइम्स द density of the steel now the cft is going to be cancelled out with cft you are going to left with pounds total amount of steel you got is 438.43 pounds so if you want to convert that in kilograms this is the factor copy paste this multiply by this 200 kilograms of steel you get in a slab of 10 by 10 feet not 10 by 10 feet it is around 15 by 16.25 by 15 feet so this is around 200 kilograms theek hai ji to isme koi galti ho koi mistake ho koi correction ho aap log bata sakte hain mujhe so this is just for the positive steel we are also going to do this for the negative steel wo yahan pe wo agle tutorial ke andar karte hain ji so thank you keep watching allah hafiz